Check out my new book in the description below. Hey, what's up, y'all? Coming to you from a COVID quarantine. So here's the thing. I watch a lot of those ASMR, like relaxation videos, and I've been doing a lot of uh, graffiti work as of recently. Before I got sick, I'm doing fine, by the way. Um, and I kind of started digging these videos and thought to myself, since I tied a lot of my artwork with the tree houses I built in the tiny houses, and I'm starting to dig those videos, instead of putting all this graffiti artwork into fast forward into a time lapse, I'm gonna put it out there in real time, which might be interesting to some of you. And that's what this video is. By the way, some of my art, the flea market stuff, the abandoned exploration, that kind of stuff, the traveling, all of my other channel, usually it's called Streets Shall Provide. Check that one out as well. I'd appreciate your subscribership. All right, I'm in Keene, New Hampshire, just to show you how close we are to downtown. Right, see between the houses there? That is literally downtown, the Church Square in Keene, New Hampshire, a gorgeous town. This is an upcoming Airbnb rental. I'm doing a bunch of artwork for it, uh, custom artwork, graffiti, street style stuff. And uh, they're gi they've given me the, the liberty to just kind of do what I want. And the guy bought basically all, all of my art that I had available. So this is kind of a dream gig here. I'm gonna take this kid's room, make it insane. He says, make it overwhelming, and I shall. So let's have some fun with this, shall we? All right, I'm just gonna start. I'm gonna use some spray paint later, but I have these giant chisel tip, where's the lens, Sharpies right here. So just gonna have some fun with this. It's always so nerve wracking to first just draw on someone's pristine walls. might have disappeared out of the frame. Can you see me? Yeah, you can. Maybe it's a bad thing. We talked to Mike about uh, Mike Tyson earlier, so let's uh inspired and add a missing tooth here. If you've seen any of my artwork before, I love the multi-eyed thing with the shifty pupil looking the other way. All of a sudden as I'm narrating, I feel like I'm Bob Ross or something here when I am much lesser than he. And then a couple lines. A couple age troops or whatever they're called. Give him a couple eyes, why not? True to cartoon fashion, this eye for no reason at all pops out here, defying gravity. They make all these lines a lot thicker. Maybe his nose bigger. Me being a gentleman with a big nose, gotta represent I could do this with a spray can, but it has a little less, I don't have any caps, it has a little less definition and control, so I'm just killing myself with marker fumes instead. Not that spray cans would be any, any better for me. I like intentionally traveling fast the line, like showing that, that right here, whatever you call it. But let's make this guy a little happier. Kids are going to be staying here. He's smiling, albeit the Joker smile. As my shoes soaked in water from the smell keep squeaking. That's not me passing gas. Yet. You know what? This guy doesn't have a space helmet. If I can give him this like illusion of a mask. It's kind of rope in his face. Kind of interesting doing these larger pieces because you have to keep stepping back to see what the heck you're doing. And I 
got to give respect to all these guys who do murals because uh, when they do things on a grand scale, on ladders, on buildings, I, I can't imagine. I've never done anything that large. Uh, there's a friend of mine, his name is Felipe Ortiz out of the Boston area. I think he's originally from Colombia, Venezuela. Sorry, Felipe, I should know this. Let's say Colombia. His work's awesome. Check him out online. Follow the man. Another eye. Kind of give each one a different looking pupil. Little underscore work there. Uh, these markers is interesting. They give you a nice defined line, but you have to move a little bit slower. But I don't want to because I want those speed slash marks that. Uh, Intensity of, I don't know, purpose, intensity of purpose, let's call it that. I definitely gotta get a fan right here, this is brutal. So, step back here for a second. Busyness. Busyness bitness. B I T apostrophe N E S S me. It's a lot of slashes there. Alright, he needs more eyes, but where? the slashing. More slash than Jason Voorhees. I kind of like watching these videos myself. Not my own videos. I hate watching those because I'm, I'm here actually doing it. I don't need to watch the video. But it's kind of relaxing to watch all the time-lapse speed stuff that other people do. And there's a thousand and thirteen billion people out there who blow away my work, and that's cool. It's inspiring, it's fun to watch, I love it. Uh, I don't know if he needs any more necks. You know what he needs? Maybe a mustache. Is that weird? Cheater's version of uh, cross hatching to get the lines some more fat definition. That was an old man attempting to get up. It's crazy because you, you step back, wow, this is really wearing that market down fast. These walls, these things are expensive, like 10 bucks a pop. As far as markers go, it's like flattening out the head and wearing it down. It was almost as if, it, as if the uh, the marker's acting like sandpaper. I might be killing a single marker for a drawing here, which is gonna add up. Fan time. We're getting there. 
Not really, I lied. We're not getting there at all. <clears throat> Let's give it some more. Yeah, I'm sawing this mark to pieces. Or pushing the tip in it. fan on now because I'm going to die from these fumes if I don't, so sorry about the audio. A couple cans, just simple stuff I picked up on the way. Uh, what, Rust-Oleum. I like this color here. But now things about to get twice as stinky. This will make sense later, I promise. I'm going for the drip. I want the drip. If you notice, I have the wrong cap in this. I thought it was blue, but I'm like, oh, that was red, that's cool. Let's hope that doesn't make it down to the floor, then we're in trouble. Christmas colors! Why the hell not? That stop is dripping, which is good. So here's what I'm going to do. Let me show you real quick. frames that I found on the side of the road. I figure, see that one's too small. I'll use that elsewhere. But I think it'd kind of be cool to put that here and let the art drip out of the structure, the parameters. So this is kind of a cool frame too. I mean, it almost has this like bamboo or Asian vibe to it. It's something, like I said, I found for nothing. Put it to use, giving it second life. Why the heck not? Once this dries, that's gonna go here. I'm also thinking maybe this could be like a swivel, like a speech bubble, as he's as if he's speaking the art. Let me move this a little bit because you're getting so much of that sunlight on the other side. Raise it up. Raise the roof. Some of those graffiti artists I, I see out there that do it for a living all the time, big murals, and they're wearing like no protection whatsoever. That's kind of crazy. I got like every window open up here, even though it's winter. Not my heating bill. No, just so I don't suffer. This eye needs a little more dominance. I don't want to make any one eye too dominant, as I'm kind of risking doing here, because I don't want you to assume like that's the main eye, these are the two eyes. Wow, it stinks. You'll hear me say that about 40 times in this video, I bet. what the rest of the pack is doing.
I just can keep adding little detail parts to it to see what it looks like in the end run. A little vapid there. Fill that space with an eyebrow. That one looks like he's surprised, that one eye in particular. Like, holy. He's wearing some brush paints. This is <laughs> so bad. And exhale. I did a halo the whole thing, but... and quiet and then deep in thought or having a stroke. I like those bald lines. I like up here it needs a little more. markers on this toast. That's crazy. I've never killed a marker this quickly. It was a brand new one. These usually last for weeks. But the drywall is just sawing it away. here.
I'm going to kind of peeking out here. <laughs> it's like Alfred Hitchcock. He's looking a little sad in uh, Rotund. Speaking of which, I love how I, I film these videos and I have like the worst posture ever. So I'm like, I look to the side, I'm like, man, I'm losing it. <laughs> Body by Budweiser. All right. Swirling my hands around gives me inspiration. I think I need more spiky things up here. I do the spikes all the time. It's like a very, I don't know, harkens back when I really was into punk rock. Played in a couple of punk rock bands, one that toured about half the US by the name of Rail. You're not going to find much on Rail except for like seven inches someone put on YouTube for whatever reason. In the Robo neck. It's actually getting dry-ish. Lightheaded. Nah, not yet. I'll pull it that way. Just keep adding to this. The old hairy eyebrow. I feel like I need to darken some of these in, maybe. Fill this one in just to give it some boldness here and there. Predictably, you darken one of these, and I'm not gonna. I'm gonna travel south. Right here, let's fill this one in. Well, let's give it like a double iris. Double the pleasure. Double the awkward stare. Double mint gum. Dating myself. So this side, wait a second, he comes a face with another mustache. Lo and behold, mustache city, not to be confused with spatula city. A spit, I'm talking. That is fragrant. Can't imagine working like a 
paint factory near the vats. This is the smell I imagine. Not that you can smell it. Never thought this dry would be so brutal in the market. <laughs> it was like almost nothing in the tip left. It was a chisel tip. This fan looks like it's coming out of the guy's nose. Let me take that out of the way. Should prop that in a chair so it really gets this stuff and pushes it out of here. Just <laughs> circulating around the house because it's a, a walk through here. So this is going to be some kind of squibble, like I said. For the heck of it. Bubbles, I don't know. Fill up the space. Looks like he's drunk. <laughs> he's, that's not what it's supposed to be. But hey, whatever. Let people think what they want. Should have gave him a snorkel. That would have been cool to make the whole thing underwater. He's got this giant snorkel. Have a water line here. The snorkel's popping out with a cork in the snorkel. Just because I'm twisted like that. Title it Last Breath. Which ties into what I'm feeling right now. To come full circle with the stench I'm dealing with. All right, uh, I'll probably come back to it and keep adding things. Some long eyelash things here. These are repetitive shapes, but it kind of just helps to, to fill up some of these zones. I don't know, don't like that guy, but that's all right. Should he be saying something? Or not? I don't know. I'll put some random object in there. speaking some fish language. Kind of a cute fish. Uh, we'll leave his nose alone. Some more cross hatching here to make these lines thicker. Here. I got so many things to do while I'm here. I gotta move on to some other stuff and start hanging some of the art I brought, which is a crazy colossal collection. Crazy colossal collection of art. I wish I didn't have to have this fan, and again, I apologize. Hey, look at this. Somehow. His mustache is gleaming. It's so sharp. He's used so much mustache wax. By the way, speaking of mustaches, check out my boy, The Capable Carpenter on YouTube, my buddy, uh, Chris Strathy. I do a lot of treehouse building and stuff, uh, as does he. I've done a lot of building with him, workshops. Good dude. Check out his channel. He's a crazy son of a gun. He has an epic beard and stash. All right, we darken that one. What else? I'm thinking that's about good. If I go too crazy, I won't get to the other stuff. I want to put a cool chair here, have room for that. Like for a photo op spot. Frame there. I uh, maybe have some plans up here. We'll see. I still got to focus in that other room in there. I don't know if I'm stringing these videos together or what, but I have been given free license. And pardon me if I'm repeating this. That's why I brought all this art too. To just bomb this room. Do anything I want. Uh, the guy contacted me and bought 
every piece of art I had available in stock. Every single one. Check out these cool shelves, by the way. This house is just awesome. All right, here's some more progress. You can see I've done a bunch more line work. He's sipping something. I actually put right the word trash in it, like he's drinking from a trash can. <laughs> I don't know. This guy is, yeah, he's all right. But I uh, put a couple things as if they're sitting overhead on there. I could get this all in one shot. I'm gonna fill in some stuff here. I don't wanna make that look like blood. Not supposed to be gruesome. Put a little of your art in our Airbnb rental, they said. I said, you sure about that? This place will be opening soon up in Key, New Hampshire. It's crazy. It's basically like a museum where each room caters to different artists. All right, so here we go. Added quite a bit to it when I shut the camera off because I just want to get some work done. And I'd have to yammer and yak to you. This is crazy. With all the pieces I brought, all the stuff I added to it, it's just this mayhem-like room. And there's more in the back corner I'll show you in a second. Sorry about the lighting here. Uh, this is an upcoming, or actually it's currently, details down below, a launched brand new Airbnb rental in Keene, New Hampshire. This town's awesome. This rental, all the different rooms, tributes to different artists. It's fantastic. I keep using that word. It's phenomenal. Tremendous. Let me show you a couple of the details, close-ups of some of this stuff. So we got a uh, space alien attack here. A piece I incorporated into the wall. This is uh, a high chair tray. This is like a worried dinosaur. I don't know what that is. Uh, I had one left, so I kind of had this hand pointing to, hey, don't forget about this guy, where my marker started running out. I'm going to probably touch it up maybe before I leave. We'll see. In a scrawly Crayola crayon sense, I kind of like it, though. Uh, absolutely covered the door. This is insane. It kind of is like a CBGB's or a punk rock bathroom, but a little more orderly, dare I say. Here's the big piece you saw in time lapse or non-time lapse. This guy's kind of interesting over here with the blue. Graffiti chair, table that I painted up that I found. I found the snail in a storage auction, so I figured why not make a slime trail where the snail is. Just for the fun of it, this is a piece I've had for a while, but I finally finished it up and had a home for it. I took these, like I said, these empty frames, made use of those. Giant snake-like creature. Tons and tons of pieces I banged out to try to get some eclectic colors and some bizarre styles in this. Again, I love the furniture they have here. Let's show you the other realm. So these are ones he hung before, but I just started to uh, add to it. I actually, I'm realizing I have one large piece I haven't hung yet. Here's a skateboard dude that was all by his lonesome, so I added the marker work to make it look like a helmeted crab creature from planet Zertan. I just made it up. Skateboard skulls, I did. I had a stencil, so I messed around with that guy. It's like very like Beetlejuice looking. Some quick sketches to fill in the voids. The waving hand. An old school computer disc. A couple over here. Here's, uh, as you enter this room, what it looks like. Strange shaped room. But man, there's a lot going on. I could like live in here for a week and just add more, but it, it's kind of already gotten to the point where it might be like too crazy. And again, these are some reproduction like in the style of works that are really cool. Like I really like this one. I didn't do this. This one's my favorite. Like I would pay money for that. That's cool.